a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. Your mom must be so mad at you. You are a bad kid, a really bad kid. You are a bad kid. You're such a bad kid. You are a bad. So here we are in beautiful Belmore, Long Island, and we are at a very special movie theater, a theater very special to the bad kids, the Belmore Playhouse, where they are showing Cannibal the Musical, but not Cannibal the Musical the film, Cannibal the Musical a stage production. Let's go check it out. It is never justified to take a human life. <laughs> The prosecution rests. Yes! But that's not the way it happened. Cannibal the Musical is the first film directed by Trey Parker, and it was distributed by our good friends at the Troma Team. It also features appearances by Matt Stone and Little Bitch. One of the producers and stars of Cannibal the Musical, Jason McHugh, stopped by for a Q&A after the production. Then, I got to meet the cast and crew. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, At one point, um, someone picks up the severed head, yeah. yes. and I heard someone scream, "What does everybody want?" That was me. Okay, that's that's an Al Snow reference, yes, right? That okay, is an Al good. Snow okay, reference. good. Hell yeah, man. Great. Okay, awesome. So you're the co-director, right? Yes. Right. How did you get involved with with this project? Well, actually, we were having Reefer Madness auditions, uh -huh. and I was with Fran. Uh, we were we were having auditions. Oh, this is Fran and Fran, uh, okay. our producer. Okay. And I told her I was like, we need to do the show. We have to do the show. And we looked up the rights for this, and they were very Dirt very cheap. reasonable, Dirt very cheap. cheap. Dirt sheet, sixty dollars a performance. Very nice. So naturally, Fran jumped all over it. She'd never even seen the film, didn't know anything about it. It's like, I'll do it, I'll do it, done. Nobody does it, I'll do it. So who actually? Own, do you own the rights to this? Well, it's, yes, it's our company, New Cannibal Society. Okay, now you've seen a lot of cannibal performances, right? I've seen a lot of them. Yes. Okay. Yes. No, what what is what is the weirdest, most out there thing you've seen someone do? Um, maybe the cowbell solo tonight was pretty weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quick question, yeah, quick question for, yeah. um, I, I mean, I don't know, yeah. but what, what what was that a reference to, the more cowbell? It's a Christopher Walken SNL, SNL, SNL oh, reference. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult behind the oh. music. Right. Oh, okay. Because I, 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 I didn't know that. Hey, I, know, I didn't get that. references. <laughs> yeah, that's an obscure one. It's almost as obscure as the, um, the light swords. The light swords? Yeah. 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 Well, I think everybody knows where the lightsabers come from. Oh. I wouldn't exactly call that obscure. I mean, do you know oh. anybody that doesn't know Star Wars? Know what? That doesn't know about Star Wars? <laughs> so, uh... You're all right. <laughs> so, uh... You're scared most improving, Pakistan. Thanks, Chief. Um, whose idea was it to put the lightsabers in? Oh, that was mine. Well, I mean, it's really cool. I, I, uh, we're, we're in, in, in the film, in the yeah. film, he's like learning, uh, like karate, karate yeah. because mm -hmm. uh, you know the, the Indians were Japanese. Yes. And we just figured, you know, like it's like the whole training thing. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? Yeah. Not your work. See you. So now you play uh, the uh, Leanne, which is my favorite character. I hope I didn't kill it for him. No, no, you, you did great. What did you do exactly to prepare yourself to, to play a horse? I don't know. There's a lot of prancing. You gotta wear a right bra. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what else she, do you do? She's I, a dance major, so she's very good at movement and all that and kind of stuff. And bending over. And <laughs> you know what was awesome? Do you remember when you were going down on that carrot? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was another thing I did practice carrots a lot. Um, <laughs> kind of popped up. We never had the carrots until today. John, you're, you're the, you are the director with, um, with Mike. Yeah. With Mike. Totally. Me and John met back we'll during Rocky out. Horror. I directed Rocky Horror, and Mike was our Rocky. You know, had, had you seen Cannibal before you got involved in this project? You know, this was no, and Mike kept handing me copies, and it wouldn't run on my computer. <clears throat> Oh. So panic started to set in. Isn't, isn't that great that they're copying your uh, movie? And, you know, uh, and, uh, <laughs> isn't that great? <laughs> now, now, Mike, do you talk to Trey Parker at all as far as learning uh, your character? No, no you just no, didn't get a chance to do that. 
Okay. Because I thought you nailed it pretty well. He looks like Didn't he? Little... Yeah, he kind of looked like him. That's what I, I, I was watching. I was like, uh, I, while I was watching, I was thinking, did, did he decide to do this because people tell him that he kind of looks like him? You know, that, that's, that's what I was that's thinking. Not, that's, one, that's one person oh. I've never, ever gotten before. I... So, what exactly happened during your trip to Breckenridge? I'm not allowed to talk about that. I, I can... Well, I have to just say one thing. I have to thank this guy over here. The fact that he let us take this and do what we want with it and be creative, I, and coming in to see it, I mean, to me, that I, I, I can't appreciate it more. And I try very hard to put to bring shows to Long Island that nobody else does. Well, well, Fran, I must say it's very kind of you because you're you're obviously not from Long Island. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 Um, my heart's as full as a baked potato. <laughs> and that's it for Cannibal the Musical here in beautiful Belmore, Long Island. Well, we made it out of Colorado territory without getting eaten. I hope we're just as lucky in the Green Inferno, because next time, the first Italian bad kid, Ruggiero Deodato, is going to tell me all about Cannibal Holocaust. So I feel you get a, what we in America call a bum rap. Please, Ruggiero, give the part. Bad kids need friends, so friend me on MySpace. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Have a spadoinkle!